I had a gout attack. I wasn't able to use either my feet or my hands. Basically, I sat in my living room recliner for about two to three months. My wife and my children pretty much fed me, took care of me, that type of thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> shucks. Money, just what the doctor ordered. Oh, that's good. Sh yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> that's good stuff. Uh, We got John here because we just adjusted Jamila and John is also coming from Virginia. That's right. Yeah. So John, you know, what's, what's bringing you in? What's going on with your body? Oh, I have a plethora of things going on. That's a fantastic word, by the way. It's yes. one of my favorite words. Thank you. Plethora. Big words. Um, I have some, some neck problems, mm -hmm. middle back, okay. Austrio arthritis in my feet and, oh, right. and yep. RA in my wrist. So you deal with a lot of inflammation in your body? Yes. Day in, day out? Every day. Uh, do you usually feel really puffy throughout the day? Do you get a lot of pains, aches and pains, soreness? Soreness and aching. Yeah, okay. How long has this been affecting you? Um, I have dealt with gout for over 20 years, but That's a long time. as of recently, within the last, mm, let's say, year, Yeah. Um, with the diagnosis of RA and OA, everything that I got that I have going on, it's, okay. it's it's a bit much. And you said you've had a couple of gout attacks, correct? I had a gout attack uh, end of September that I wasn't able to use either my feet or my hands. Mm. Um, basically, I sat in my living room recliner for about two to three months. Wow. My wife and my children pretty much fed me, took care of me, that type of thing. Yeah. Um, it wasn't until I caught pneumonia, became septic, sepsis. Sepsis. Yep. Um, they treated me for that, and at that point, it was decided that I need to go to rehab to mm. learn how to walk. And I did um, a rock, Rocky Balboa type thing with OT and PT where I had it. Whole montage too? You had yes. The, the s s songs in the background, I did. <laughs> getting just stronger. I was in the gym every yeah. day. They taught me how to walk. I came home two days before Christmas. Hmm. And um, I had a walker, but I ditched that in January. Okay. And I was walking with the assistance of a cane, and okay. then I ditched that. So by February, I was walking on my own. But my, my, my walk is not a fluid walk, it is a almost mechanical or robotic type of. An imbalance. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. and I have been told I walk or I lean forward, not, you know, upright. Yeah. So, so let's actually let's check that out. Let me let me have you stand up, John, and I'm I'm gonna have you just walk back and forth here. Okay. So just kind of walk towards the wall, and then turn around and then come back. So you, do you feel like you're really forward right now? Yeah. Yeah. So just from your posture, right? Looks like you have a lot of restriction. Mm -hmm. right? One side's more pressured than the other. Mm -hmm. Your head's really far forward, mm -hmm. so you're naturally gonna keep going forward. And we can see that here, because you have a, like a big decrease in your cervical curve. But not only that, your head is rocking forward. We call this anterior head carriage because you're carrying your head over your shoulders. That's creating extra stress and tension going all the way down to the bottom cervical bones here, right? And so are yep. you having a lot of issues up here as well? Yeah. It's like, uh, it just feels like it's pulling. Mm -hmm. Do you get any tingling and numbness in your arms? In my fingers. Fingertips as well. Fingertips. Very similar. So mm -hmm. that CT area, right? Do you know why this, is, this area is so important? Uh, I guess it holds up your head. Or holds your up your head. That's a good one. It does hold up your head. But you also have one of the biggest bundle of nerves there. It's called the brachial plexus. Kind of like a tree root going out through that shoulder down to the arm. And that's what we have with all the nerves going all the way to the fingertips. Mm. So 
from those nerve roots, it's connected to the different areas of your neck, right? So you have, you have C1 through C7, well technically C8 nerve, but you don't have a C8 bone, which is crazy, but it's cool stuff. Mm -hmm. But those also, also go down here. So this is C6, C7 nerve, C8, T1, T2. So your body's connected in multiple ways, a plethora of ways. Mm, nice. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so brachial plexus is really important. That lower part of your neck, you're seeing way too much pressure mm -hmm. and tension. So of course you're gonna be sending mixed signals down your arm. So you've had gout for about 20 years, you mm -hmm. said. How long have you been dealing with just like the general pain and dysfunction, would you say? More than 20 years, less than 20 years? About 20. About 20 I mean, years. because I've learned how to mask it or mm -hmm. uh, I take my gout medicine when I, was, when I needed it. Yeah. And when you need it, it's actually too late. Yep. Because you're yep. in an attack and it just attacks your joints. I've watched it just take my toes and turn them. And just shift it all. Yeah. So. Do you ever get like, uh, is swelling? Oh yeah, swelling. Yeah, swelling too? Um, I haven't had another gout attack since I would say November. I haven't had to deal with gout because I've been taking my medicine every day. And not eating the things that will trigger a gout attack. Exactly. And one of the big things that me and John talked about was his diet, but also the oils that he was cooking with. Because you said you switched from canola to vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. So both of those are still going to be bad. Because what happens is, right, you get an increase of omega-6, which is going to increase inflammation in your body, which is not going to be good for somebody that already has arthritic change. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation to John was to cook with avocado oils, right? Extra virgin. olive oil, mm -hmm. extra virgin olive oil, or coconut, coconut. and ghee. Because those are going to be the best, and you're not going to have an influx of those omega-6s and all of the processed things that those types of oils have. Because when you think about it, and you're cooking, and you're making what? three meals maybe throughout the day, you're cooking each time with those oils, then you're adding on to it, adding on to it, mm. not only that, the calories. So we gotta take a look at everything, not just the physical, but structural, but the uh, nutritional as well. Gotcha. So let's take a closer look at your feet too. I want you to stand up here real quick. And I'm gonna have you, do you struggle like balancing, just standing up? Yeah. Cause I feel, I kind of balance on the outside of my feet. Yeah, you feel like you're pushing out? Yep. Okay, so you got some supination going on. Let me have you actually stand here, face forward. I'm gonna have you close your eyes. So you got a little bit of a wave. I don't know if you guys can notice this, but it's kind of waving a little bit like back and forth with your eyes closed. This is testing your proprioception, which is literally just your positional sense. Mm -hmm. So if there's stuff going on, there's misalignment, interference with the communication of your nerves, your body starts to do different things when you're just still and taking out certain sensories. So you can open your eyes now. Does that feel a little weird just being still like that? <laughs> Let me have you reach down and touch your toes. Okay, so you can get pretty far. Yep. Good, come back up. How does it feel just going down and coming back up? I have to take my time because uh, I get lightheaded. Okay. Come lightheaded up. with the position? Yeah. Got it. All right, John, let's see. Uh, What's going on there? Uh, you're just pushing the air out of me. <laughs> Any tension there? Yeah, mm -hmm. right where your left hand is. My left hand, right here. Yeah, right that's there. It right there. Mm. Money shot. <laughs> yep. Money shot. All right. We're going to get that in a sec. Let me have you lift this leg up straight. Okay. So not very high. Drop it down. How about this one? Lift it up as high as you can go. Uh, maybe a little bit better. Which one felt harder for you? Um, this one. Right one? Yep, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna, oh yeah, it's not moving at all. So whenever we do motion, right, we're, we're not just shaking you and moving you around for no reason. We wanna actually see where motion stops or where it's restricted. So this does not move, and then the upper half of your body doesn't move at all, right? Yeah. It's like it's just stuck there. There's no jiggle. Yeah, there's no jiggle. Typically, we want this to happen. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> every yeah, and every time we're poking at it. Oh. A little rough there, huh? Yeah. Cross your leg here. Okay, relax that. Good. Take a big breath in. All the way out. Another big breath in. So at the whole session, I just want you to focus on that breath. Breathe it in and out. All the way. Good, a little pressure here, a little pressure there. And then a little scoop. Ooh. Wow. Money. Hey, <laughs> Dad. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Wow. How did that feel though? <laughs> that was good. I felt the same. That was good stuff. Yeah, that one was even louder than yours. Mm -hmm. That was huge. Okay, so let's recheck that. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure here. Mm -hmm. Does that feel different? Uh, it doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then lift your right leg up as high as you can go. Okay. Drop that one and lift the left one. Okay, I mean, it's looking smoother. We can get it higher. But how's that feel, same yeah. or different? It feels the same. Feels the same, got it. So let's tweak a little oh, bit more. Oh, good gracious, it's the ankles. <laughs> a little tender? Yeah. More tender on which side? The right. Mm. Which is funny because you actually have more range of motion on the left. I do feel a lot more laxity here though. Okay. We're gonna give you a nice pull here. Relax your leg, let it all go. Good. Oh! Mm -hmm. Pasta vazoo. <laughs> How did that one feel? Wow, that, that almost lost some things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt that in the... Lost some pain? Uh, lost some dis ease, dysfunction? Ease. Disease. Yeah. We got it. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got two there. Yeah. That was good. That was real good. I need yeah. a nap. <laughs> You're definitely gonna get some great naps today, some great sleeps today. Uh, yeah. So we need to push this forward, get your neck backward. You have too much extension in your neck. Let's work our way over here, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold tight there. I'm gonna roll you to me. So you feel that spot there? Mm -hmm. That's your T4. It's where it's really jammed up. And then little by little, we just sink more and more until your body lets it go. Ah! There it is. <laughs> that looked delightful. <laughs> that's the area where that's gonna be a little bit of, little rougher just because you do have those bones that are kind of connecting, mm -hmm. right? You have a lot of arthritic change in your thoracic spine. So just movement in general is gonna be really good for you. Yeah, because we got way too much bone trying to connect. So just getting, just getting in there and getting you some motion is really gonna benefit you. I'm gonna have you bring your legs down. You're gonna sit up. He's gonna get the block. Good, keep hunched. Let it go. Great, I gotcha. Just gonna give you a nice little hug. We're going to micro tune that. Great, let your head drop back. Almost, I gotcha. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you can let go now. <laughs> He's holding on. He's holding on. <laughs> Bring the chest up, head back, arms back. How does that feel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
That was good. That was great. Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm. Is this what you guys were looking for? And <laughs> you guys came out here? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. We aim to please. Let's check your rotation here. So you, you really don't have that much rotation over there. Here too. That's a little rough. Let's see. Turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the right. Aha, that's the one, okay. <clears throat> so it's just another way that we can test for cervical subluxation and misalignment. If the legs even out with motion, it just tells us that that side is restricted. We need to get it aligned. Hmm. Yeah, cool stuff. All kinds of tricks. So what we need to do for you is we need to actually put you into more flexion to open it up here. Go through that curve. Let's see, we're gonna get, you feel that sticky spot? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. C5. <sighs> Segment to the left. <laughs> oh! Oh, Sh shucks. Now you understand. <laughs> that was a big one. Yeah. How did that feel? Uh, I can't even describe it. I mean, that's, my ears opened up. <laughs> really? You got a little bit of drainage? He has chronic ear infections. Yeah. Mm, okay. So. I can hear you now. You can hear me better? Yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah. I might have to give you a tip for that one. Wow. <laughs> you can hear me. Wow. <laughs> that way, if you're saying something, he can hear you now. Yeah, no excuses. Uh, no, yeah, no excuses now. OK. Man, that was great. That was. <laughs> OK. Chest up. Shoulders back. Lean back against me. Relax your legs. Yep, let them drop. Mm hmm So it's still fighting me a little bit, so I'm gonna have you lean towards me this way. Good. Oh! That we got it. A beast. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <Ooh. a> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just need a little extra juice in there, but how'd that feel? Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oops, I see. It. <laughs> that, it, it's okay, we can just beep it. It felt good. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was great. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was phenomenal. Okay, let me have you go on your back, face up. All right, so look to the left, look to the right. Oh, yeah. Is that easier than it was? It was. Yeah. We're getting a lot more. Here, now I'm going to do it actively. Let your head go down. Okay, so definitely getting a lot more. A lot more. Great. All right. You ready for the big shebang? Yes, indeed. He's ready. Okay, relax here. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice breath. We'll give you a little bit of room there. Good. All right, John, you ready to fly? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh! Still with us? I am. <laughs> I felt it in my butt. <laughs> Sometimes people feel it there. <laughs> Bring your head up. Oh, shucks. That was pretty big. That was. That was great. <laughs> oh, I can man. even see the energy coming back. Sparkles in your eyes. Yeah, sparkles. Sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, man. Sparkles. Okay. Yeah, so John's feet just feels like a block, right? Yeah, they're sore. Mm-hmm. Gout's just gonna cause excessive amounts of inflammation and just restriction in here. Yeah. <sighs> I 
Oh. Yeah, geez. even just a little bit of pressure, huh? Yeah. The, the, okay, let's do a couple things here. The dog's a little sensitive. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Who let the dogs out? Ooh. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> All right, you're gonna feel a couple clicks. Let me know if this is too much pressure. Is that no, okay? That's fine. So the, there's a lot of different bones in the feet. I know it just looks like one foot, but there's all these different, there's the navicular, the cuboids, the metatarsals, talus, calcaneus. So if these are mm. moving, mm -hmm. right, and they're stuck, it's gonna restrict a lot of the motion going up your spine. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're getting a little bit more bend. So it might not like look like we're doing much in here, but it's actually it kind of tender, right? It is. Packs a punch. All right, I'm gonna give it a little tug. Okay. Let me know if this is too much. I'll start low. Okay. That was that fine? That was good. We already got a little movement. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay. Right there. Oh. There we go. Oh. Right here too. I know it's gonna be a little rough for us. Ooh, there we go. Got a little pop. Oh, there it is. Sweet Jesus. Ooh. Still with me, John? I'm with you. You're with me, okay. I am. Good. Lift this leg. Drop that knee just to localize this. I'm only gonna do a little bit. There we go. Oh. We got a little movement. There's a little bit more. Good. See, we don't need too much force. How did that feel in there? Aside from the tenderness. <laughs> uh, I do, I can move it a little You can I, move it? Yeah. Yeah, it's moving more? Yeah. Look at that. How's the other one? Look at, look at, look at that. Mm -hmm. Way more, way more better. So let's do this one now. Okay. That way we don't leave you lopsided. Uh, so this ooh. helps us get the joint space a little bit loosened up first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. But I'm not sorry because we're getting you better. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay. Mm. All right, we'll do a little one. Okay, and then a bigger one. Okay. Relax that if you can. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Don't you ever talk about me again. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that one hurt. <laughs> that one is a little tender. Yeah. Okay, last ones. Last ones, John. We're gonna bring your knee in, relax that foot. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I wanna get a little bit more motion for you here, okay? okay? Ah! -ha. We got it. Mm. We need to see her soak our feet tonight. Yeah. Soak it in some magnesium salt. Mm. Yep. Mm. Oh. That's phenomenal. Wow. Okay, one last thing here for your feet. Because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get a block for your feet too. Do you feel more mobile? I do. <clears throat> Good. So let's do this real quick. This is actually an extremity piece. We use these for arms and legs and feet and hands, but we also use it for the back. Okay. <laughs> okay, move those around. How's that feel? They're not sore. <laughs> They're not? Are you serious? Very serious. <laughs> That's awesome. They feel great. Yeah, because I mean, you've never had your feet adjusted, right? No. no. First time for everything. Wow. Okay, lift your right one as high as you can. Okay, that's better. that's better. You're actually getting your hips engaging in your low back too. How about the left one? Ooh, way more better. How's it feeling there? I don't feel it. You don't feel anything? I mean, it doesn't hurt anymore. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, let's have you sit up. You're gonna face Eddie. I'm gonna have you bend down in between your legs and then come back up. Ah, so we gotta take care of your low back too. 
bring this over here. Arm up. Good. Almost got gotcha. you. All right, you're not going to fall. Okay. Promise, I got you locked in. Oh, right. Let that relax. Good. Let that leg go. It's telling me there's a little bit extra tension in your spinal cord, so now we just need to take that out. Good. There it is. <laughs> that was great. How'd that feel? <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Man. That's good stuff. Uh, that's all I can say. I mean, <laughs> let's go to this side. Turn face me. Fantastic. Good. I got you. Your leg's gonna fall down. You're not gonna fall down. I got you. Oh. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you beat you up real good. Today. I beat you up real good. <laughs> <laughs> you up real good today. Oh yeah. That's good. That's. My feet are still popping. Yeah. That was well worked. Okay. Last one. You're gonna go face down one more time. Great. That's feeling good. Mm. You're gonna feel this pop up. Sorry, forgot to warn you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Try that right leg again, as high as you can go. That's looking fantastic. How about the left one? Heck yeah. Okay, let's see, let's test that out. Let me have you stand up. I'm gonna have you reach down to your toes first. Reach down to your toesies. And then come back up. How's that feel? Feels good. Feels good? Yeah. Let me have you walk back and forth. I wanna see how you walk. Okay. How's your walk feeling right now? Uh, I feel a little sore, but yeah. <laughs> it does feel better than what it was. Good. Let me have you uh, go on your tippy toes a little bit. A little bit. Is this still painful a little bit there? Just a little. Just a little bit, yeah. It's going to take some time, but mm -hmm. I think consistent movement within your feet is going to really help. So back home, I would suggest finding somebody that also knows lower extremities, um, lower and upper extremities, just so they can also work on your feet and legs. <coughs> right on top of central spine yeah. okay but you know compared to what we're walking in earlier today how are you feeling overall oh man i feel a whole a hundred percent better okay i love I that do. i mean <laughs> i feel like i'm standing a little more straighter straighter yep um my posture feels better head's looking like it's coming back yeah it doesn't look like you have that huge yeah. anterior head carriage oh, forward yeah. yeah and especially with oa ra yeah inflammation in your body and you've been dealing with this for way too long the gout for 20 years yeah we need to reduce that inflammation as much as possible yeah. and get you aligned yeah. right so change those cooking oils throw in more fish oil omega-3s because that's going to help reduce the inflammation mm -hmm. and keep up the good good uh, nutrition and diet okay sound like a plan yeah how's that how's that feeling good feeling good yeah fantastic